All right, welcome back to Modern Warfare. Today we're going to jump right back in and talk about the weapon that everyone wants to talk about, the M4A1. Um, it's one of the better weapons in the game. I'm not going to say it's the best, but it's definitely top tier. Um, and it's going to be one of the hardest ones to talk about cohesively because it's so customizable. And I'll give you an example. Um, this is like a standard meta build for it. Um, some recoil control, some ADS time stuff, and a sight. Pretty simple. Um, but there's three viable stocks, this one for stability, and then these two for mobility. This one's probably my favorite, just for looks and ability, but it's all good. Ammunition-wise, these are all useful in their own way. Um, rear grips, sorry, rear grips, don't really use those. You want recoil control, do you want grenade launchers, do you want shotguns, do you want smokes? It's everything's in here. Uh, barrels, all of these are viable, all of them, depending on what you want. This is very much a gun that's a Lego set. You build it how you want. So I'm just gonna add a little some standout items for this gun. Um, the Corvus Custom and the and the uh, freaking Commando are my two favorite barrels for it. Um, this one's cool looking, but I think I like the Corvus Custom a little bit more uh, personally. This just because this one kind of looks gaudy. Um, the sights obviously hollow, and this is the other hollow sight. Both are good. Um, and then for the M4, I do like the this uh, integral hybrid. It's a very nice sight. Um, stocks, the Forge Tank CQS is the best one in my opinion. Um, and then grips, I think Ranger foregrip and Operator foregrip are the two best, depending on if you care about stability. Um, both are good though. Uh, ammunition, use at your will. I don't really think this weapon needs sleight of hand or FMJ. You're not gonna be doing much score streak shooting. Burst has its use, but I'm not gonna suggest it. Um, we'll talk about that at a later date. Uh, so we got a, just a bunch of builds. This one here is like a Sweat Lord high mobility build um, with the SOCOM mags. And the reason why I don't have recoil control for this one is because SOCOM doesn't honestly care about your recoil that much. It's more, it's because you're going to be tap firing SOCOM rounds anyway. This is going to be like a, a FAL with full auto capabilities. So we're building it for mobility because the recoil isn't bad to begin with. Um, this one here is a like a SMG build with the light ammo pretty standard uh, this here is a pretty standard metal lord build using the commando high mobility decent recoil control and very very nice looking um, this one here is a mean build using the uh, nine mil ammo and a bunch of like just big ass things on it uh, we'll get rid of burst in this one we'll throw on fucking I don't know candid this one yeah candid sight there we go and then this one is a, another meta build, but it's more of a marksman's meta build. So, let's make sure these bots are the right level. Yes, sir. We'll get in here and test this bad boy out. It's a good gun. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's a very good gun. It's just, its actual power is way overhyped. I'm talking through the roof. It's absurd. So, the M4 is kind of like your run-of-the-mill assault rifle. It handles enemies up close and far away. It can't outgun a lot of weapons up close. It can knock on a lot of, like, some of them, but it can't knock on all of them. So we're going to break out this, like, standard M4 build. Decent mobility. This hollow sight's quite nice. Time to kill's good. A little slower than the RPK, but not much. You're going to want headshots, though. Headshots do a lot to weapons usability. Like, a lot. Very, very good weapon. Um, there's a reason everyone uses it. But headshots really do mean a lot of this thing. You can tell this build, good recoil, decent handling. Doesn't struggle with any sort of foreign or domestic threat. Headshots just melt things. Um, this is, I'm not going to stand this very long. I think this weapon's at its best when you meme with it. Uh, if you're going to sweat lord with this thing, yeah. You don't need videos to tell you how it works. I mean, you you know what this thing is with this kind of build. Uh, we'll switch to this one next. Could hey, yeah, you got me. Come on, there we go. All right, so I like the nine mil Parabella ammo, and un unironically, it's actually pretty good. Mobility isn't great for this build, but. 
there's no recoil control there. That's just the base recoil. Yeah, damage output's still very nice in this thing, so. Do I not have scavenger on this class? I'm not getting the ammo. Huh, odd. Let's count shots to kill for 9 mil real quick. So, five body shots. Uh, I feel like it's probably going to be like three headshots. Where is someone I could shoot ahead? Damn it. I just want to test this thing. Could you not? I missed that shot. Alright, so four headshots. So, yeah, it's going to take one extra shot to kill. Fire a little faster than the standard M4. But it's got a lot less recoil. Kind of killed that point goes down. But uh, this is the best SMG in the game if you build for, if you build it a certain way, I think. That's a real disbalance for this gun. It's not the, the how it hits skills versus LMGs and assault rifles. It's how it handles versus SMGs. This setup with the 9mm is very, very nice. And it's comfortable to use too. And I'll show you a different one that's more for mobility. But... Like, yeah, let's, let's see if we can snipe somebody with this. My favorite purge over here. Damage range isn't great, but because we're using more volume of fire versus damage per shot, it doesn't need to be. Could somebody? Yeah, not an issue. Um, I want someone to just stand still so I could just check him with bullets. Where the frick are you guys? Aim is good. Yeah, so that's how this thing works. That's a meme build and that's still good. Let's get the, the lighter version of it. Come here. We'll try to knife ourselves, I guess. Damn it, I almost got me too. There we go. Yeah, so this is how it's going to handle without those big perks. Very SMG-like. Wish you get bigger mags for the 9 mil for it, though. I do like... Yeah. Honestly, this is my favorite way to run it with the 9 mil. It's, um... I'm not talking much. I need to talk more. Uh, just because I'm just kind of enjoying playing the game. It's a very fun to play with this gun. It's comfortable. It's easy. And this particular setup right here, with the... Uh, a basic sight, the Predator, the 9 mil, and the TAC-4 specifically. It's just very comfortable to use. And then the extra reload is never made. So, um, if I had to pick one that I was going to suggest to people, it'd probably be this one. Not just for good, but for novelty sake, it's fun. And at the end of the day, it's a video game. It's not what it's about. In my opinion, it's the most fun class for the M4. Uh, let's switch to... Uh, this one, the Sweat Lord class. I, got I forgot I had a knife clipped. Hey, buddy. He almost got it. He almost got me. Oh, it got me. What a beast. Alright, yeah, so this is. Uh, I use bigger mags for the Sweat Lord class because I feel like it's useful. A little high recoil, but. I mean, who cares? And if I'm like practicing to play COD and I want to play offline or something, I'll grab some realistic bots or veteran bots or whatever, and I'll get uh, a dual arena and I'll use this class and I'll just see what I can do versus some high end bots. Because this is kind of, I don't know. It's a gun that's fully dependent on how good you are. This isn't gonna win gunfights for you. This isn't like a shotgun. This isn't like the PKM. Like you need to, sh you need to hit your shots. You need to be accurate. But if you do, this is gonna win a lot of gunfights. And the main thing is it's ammo efficient, uh, which you wouldn't think so because it's a high fire weapon. But if you space your shots, you'll be killing a lot of enemies. 
the magazine. Like that. Still got 27 bullets. See how many I can kill with this one mag. Didn't see him. All right, so yeah, you get the picture. And let's look at the last one. Uh, this is the SOCOM build. You can see, even though I'm not built for recoil control, it's still quite accurate. And if I want to do some marksmanship work with it, kind of handles like an FAL. Let's post up here. Any enemies? SOCOM bolts are fun. I don't know if they're viable, but they're a nice thing. Three shot to kill, two shot headshots. It's not bad. And then you can get up close, set up a full auto. And uh, yes, it works. More than enough damage output to ruin it. Kind of, uh, kind of got a really nice juicy feel to the bullets. Like, it's a very nice impact that it has. Now, technically the FAL has a higher fire rate. Um, because it has no fire cap, but it's not full auto, and the recoil is quite a bit higher, no matter how you build it. This with a low recoil high mobility build has more recoil control than the most accurate FALs, so. So the damage might be a little bit lower, and I can't get that two-shot chest shot. You, what you get back is way more effective range because of the recoil and the handling. Plus, with headshots, you're not exactly struggling time to kill wise. Uh, this is another gun that can really just hold pace with just about anything. Uh, the more I use it, honestly, the more these SOCOM rounds kind of appeal to me. I, again, another one where I wish you could get bigger magazines for me. It is what it is. Um, so, yeah, that's the M4. It's a simple gun, but it's fun. And there's lots of ways to make it, so don't be afraid to mix and match to your heart's content. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you right now. So we're gonna go, we're gonna pick a, where I'm, I'm closing my eyes right now. I'm just gonna pick a random barrel. Close my eyes, pick, just tap, I'm tapping down the D-pad. Random thingy right there. Spam down this, pick a random, uh, that, whatever that is. And we're gonna place that, and then ammunition. We're gonna spam, hold down for a second, click, and we'll place a stop. And it's just a randomized build for it. Let's see how this thing performs. What is this? No, I kind of grenade launch. What is this? Hmm, hold up. What kind of grenade launcher is that? Cussive. Right. Kind of make it take a second. Yeah. Damn it. I'm playing badly. It's not a gun. But yeah, even a randomized build for this. This one's got a little more recoil because it doesn't have a stock, but or foregrip. But even a randomized build for this gun more than accomplishes what you want. Yeah, I don't really see. I don't think you can make this gun into a bad setup. And the match We'll try to make a bad setup for this gun. We'll make the worst setup we can, real quick. We'll do, uh, hmm. I don't know, Breacher Device, Grenadier. Which one affects mobility? Yeah, okay, we'll use the variable zoom. We'll use 9 mil ammo. The stock right here. Yeah. All right, so this should be, this should be, yeah, it's slow. Hold on, we can make this worse. We can make this worse. Uh, we'll get rid of the breacher device and put on burst fire. So now we don't even have uh, the fallback of full auto. Oh, that's still not bad. Oh boy. I 
don't know if this can one burst someone if you hit him in the head. But it's accurate at least. I mean, it still kills stuff. Did you die? Yeah, so this is the worst build I can think of. And uh, it's still more than competent. Still lacks a little damage in those medium range engagements. Oh, it can one burst headshot. I wonder if this burst fire adds damage to it. And I did try burst fire with standard ammo and soaking ammo. Soaking ammo is all right, but for both of them, I didn't really see any reason to use burst fire over um, full auto. Damn, this guy is hitting the shots all of a sudden. You know what? Fuck you. Goodness, did you fucking die? Thank you. I'm going to my auto. This is basically an X, the uh, M19, but with a fuck ton of attachments on it. Yeah, so you need headshots. If you're gonna run this, you're gonna need headshots. More of the story. I mean, you can still make it work, though. You could definitely go positive in a multiplayer lobby with this. You just need to play to its strengths. A no recoil long range. That's the only strength this has. Hop up. All right. Well, that's enough messing around with that. Um, that's about all I got for you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fizzle. Um, I'll catch you next time. Deuces.